Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, huh, please go ahead and like it, share it, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to come through the building, girl. And when you do, you want to go ahead and you want to hit that bell so you can be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting me in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, girl, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to check us out on Patreon or on Facebook, go ahead and look in that link, which is in the bio section beneath this video. Okay, and also, listen, y'all, if you would like to send a little offering to this channel, DF Tarot Tea at Cash App or PayPal. Now, I didn't say it, y'all, today is uh, October 31st, and we're going on over there into 11 1. Okay, so we know the veil is very thin. Um, so we're just doing a little something. We're just kind of dealing with the spiritual realm, things that are lingering around in the spirit realm. We've been hanging out in the astral all day today. Um, it is late in the evening now, okay? Because this is the reading that you guys will get last today, okay? So I know it's a little late in the evening. So we're about to go ahead and just look into kind of what's, what's going on. I kind of see a controlling feminine energy, okay? That is just kind of haunting a particular masculine. Somebody is struggling to let go. And we have to look at this in the spirit realm for what it is. These energies, these demonic frequencies that get a hold to somebody's mind. We would call it PTSD. We would call it trauma. But it's deeper than that a lot of times. This is a karmic feminine energy that has portrayed, betrayed, this, excuse me, y'all, betrayed this masculine. Okay? And he's not, he's not free of her energy. I don't know who this person is to you. But we are going to look and see, okay? What is the true nature of this person's relationship to you? Um, okay, if this person is still struggling with the past. Struggling with past trauma. Past, this, this is a, what we're really talking about. Is a demonic stronghold. Okay, who is this? Who is this? Mm-hmm. Um, y'all, we're really seeing nine of pentacles. We're seeing ten of wands. We're seeing six of cups, y'all. This is somebody... Whoever he is, you know yourself. You always feel like this man needs to get his shit together emotionally. This is not nothing new for you. Okay? You always feel like he's kind of in need of more. Like somebody needs to be giving him more. You feel the deficit from him whenever you're around him. Okay? Um, you feel the burden that's upon him. Okay? You feel that he needs to get some things off of his chest. He needs to let some things out. He needs to let some things go. Okay, what is your relationship to this masculine? Y'all, because folks, we, we got high priestess energy. Okay, two of wands. King of pentacles. Um... This is somebody that, like, you know that they kind of want to be with you. They would see, this is somebody that, it's like they see you as amazing. They have a crush on you, and they kind of want to learn to be more like you. Like, they want to be able to have your ability to be stable and secure all the time. This person is a friend who would like to be more. The reason they're not more is because you, you kind of like, bruh. You, you need to get your shit together, okay? So you've never really invited this person to be more in your life because you kind of see the instability. Not kind of. You do see the instability um, that they're trying to hide. A lot of insecurity, okay, that they're trying to hide. You're just not here for that. 
um, period, okay? You're in a very playful, light, and fun space in your life. Ace of Pentacles energy. It's everything around you. It's like God is just handing you a freebie where everything around you is light and fluffy right now. And you don't get romantically involved with him because you're like, I'm not finna be involved, involved with your drama and all your mother wounds and shit. You're not finna bring that to me. Okay, strength. You're in a strong place. You may be in the gym heavy. Like, you're trying to put you back together. You're trying to put your life back together. You're not trying to sit around with him and be bothered with all that. You're really not. You're like, I ain't, I ain't got to do all this with you, bro. Okay, I'm not going to sit around with you. And, you know, you got a lot of work to do and you need to do it instead of trying to be bothered, you know, bother me. Okay, you're not on that star card energy. You're in a great place spiritually. You have a lot of hope and faith and great things going on in your life. And this man, you feel like you want to see him being a king of wands energy. You want to see him lively, fun, masculine, taking control of his life, being a leader, doing his thug thizzle. And you know something is stopping him from being in his greatness, but you really just don't know what it is. But you really want to see this for him. You want to see him being vital. Okay, you want to see him living his best life. Um, and you're just not seeing that from him. You're like, what is going on? What is stopping him from fulfillment? You want to see him travel. You want to see him doing his thing. Um, you're like, why does he seem so wounded? Why is he acting like he doesn't know who he is? Okay. We got land of the gods energy on this card. You're like, why isn't he in balance? Why doesn't he know who he is? What is the problem? Like, why is this a situation where he's always acting like he's broke down? Okay. Yeah, you're tired of it. You feel like he's a Debbie Downer in a sense. So you would never really cross that line with him. But Queen of Wands energy, you have been a friend to him. You do enjoy his company. Y'all may have even been intimate before. But when it comes down to like, I'm going to go ahead and be with you, be with you. You're like, no, I'm not going to be with you, be with you, nothing. Like you need to shape up and ship out, okay? You need to start taking better care of yourself. So you feel like this man isn't ready for a lady of your caliber, Okay, that's just the bottom line. High priestess energy, you better come through, okay? You feel like he's not, a lady like you ain't, he, like you ain't even ready for this. You still over there whining about your past crises and your past issues. I need to see that you can grow up, first of all. Okay, what are, there's some type of spiritual challenges with this man, though. This is a spiritual hygiene issue more than anything. What is the spiritual issue with this masculine, y'all? Okay, we just had a car fall out. Y'all, the ten of swords fell out. Listen, this man is depressed. This man is depleted. He feels like this man may be, okay, wow. This man, whether you know this or not, I don't know. This man has been the victim of some type of essay in childhood, okay? Something that makes him feel like he's just not a man. He doesn't even have the right to be a man in the right way. And it's showing through that he has these deep, deep traumas, okay, that make him feel like he's he's limited in what he can do, who he can be. We see the six of pentacles coming through in the reverse. This man feels like so much has been taken from him in his life. Ace of Swords in reverse, he feels like he's living a lie. He's not really coming clean with people about what's happened to him. Um, I'm also getting the energy, so I'm going to go on and say it. This is also the type of energy where there's a family involved here. The family, you don't talk about it. No type of energy, I'm saying. So he may still be breaking bread with the aunts and uncles and cousins that traumatized him, okay? Because this is very much so it's giving, you don't talk about that. Okay, page of wands. Okay, so this man has been expected to move forward and just stay in the adventure that is his life. Okay, just keep on rolling um, with these traumas that he's experienced, never truly having been resolved, talked about, okay, brought out into the open. So there are serious, serious, serious skeletons, y'all. Skeletons in this man's closet, okay? Serious skeletons in his closet. Seven of Wands energy. And this is creating obstacles for him because he always feels lost. Okay. Lost, unloved, what's going on. Okay. This is what's causing a great deal of the confusion or setbacks in his life. As far as you seeing his progress, you're like, why you ain't out here doing you? Like you a nice looking man. You got your stuff going on. You a mess. I don't care if we messed around or not. Like I ain't finna make you my man because 
I can't, you know, you got some stuff you need to deal with. You need to deal with the king of swords. This man has dealt with these things thus far in his life by just kind of pretending they didn't happen. Okay, by just kind of being cold and frigid, detached, don't talk about these memories, etc. But now these memories that he's not talking about, did not talk about, now they're, they're starting to come through and deal with him. Okay, it's become a situation where there just is no getting around this. It's like, how long can you pretend? Okay, his time and days of pretending are just over. Okay, he's no longer able to outrun these things. Okay. The star. Um, it's time for this man to try to figure things out and kind of figure out this energy that is in his life. Okay, the star and the devil this energy comes from a feminine, okay? Somebody in his life growing up violated him, um, a woman. So he has issues with women. Even though he wants to be with a woman, he has a hard time being with a woman. We see the lovers and the seven of pentacles. That is because at such a young age, he constantly mourns that his ability to be a lover in the right way, like, you know, you had your first time with a girl from school or whatever the hell, was taken from him, okay? So this man has anger, frustration, resentment. Four pentacles and the tower. He's holding on to so much dark energy, y'all. Okay, so whoever was sensing this in him, like, I don't know what your deal is. This is the deal, okay? This is childhood trauma that has just been allowed to fester. And it's holding him back at this point. And keeping him seven of cups energy, y'all. Keeping him as someone that a lot of things is just more in his head. Like he doesn't always go after success like he should. Okay. That's kind of how it's manifesting. Ooh. All right. That's how it's manifesting, y'all. So we see tools, okay, coming through on this card with the two of swords. This man needs to find the tools to open his eyes, open his mindset, uh, quench his thirst for knowledge, quench his thirst for life. This man needs to open up, okay, so that he can receive some type of blessing, some type of happiness in his life, okay? Church bells ring when the judgment card comes to the building, okay? And we see a need for judgment in his life for him to go ahead and call judgment on himself, and face these demonic realities and say, hey, I'm going to go and I'm going to get some help. Okay. For him to just go ahead and face these things. Because there's no way that he can get these things done without it. Okay. He's got to do that. We see the world card energy. He has to do that in order to take himself into a space of full circle. He has to go back to the beginning. Okay. If anybody is giving advice to this man, this is what you need to tell him. It's time for him to go back to the beginning. Of his life beginning of the issue seven of wands we see birthday energy on this card he needs to go back to where it started okay because that's what's blocking him that's the obstacle period that's where the truth is for him ace of swords energy the truth stands in him going ahead and just taking it owning what happened owning it and writing his own story for himself okay um we also see this man has a listen now y'all hear all that ruckus out there Okay, speaking of his life and what's going on, okay, four swords energy. Um, there's a need that's coming through at this point for this masculine to move forward in four swords energy, as in he's gonna have to just rest and let God do the work for him. You know, we can't always get in front of it, just period. He's gonna have to rest and let God do it and get in hermit energy, get in prayer, get the help, get the assistance, let death card energy come through. Okay, and kind of take him into a new lane, a new place in his life. At that point, now we see the page of pentacles. That's when he will have something to offer somebody. That's when he'll be able to take action for himself, the magician. Until then, it's just not going to be possible for him to really offer anybody anything. We see the empress. He can come through as a magician and get and attract an empress energy to himself once he owns his past traumas and deals with them through prayer, through help, whatever it takes. This is when he's going to be able to just blow the roof off his life. Tower card energy. 
okay? And come through as someone else, Eight of Cups. And come through as somebody that's walking towards King of Cups energy, transforming himself into the next level of his life. This may be a friend of somebody, y'all, Six of Pentacles energy. This is how he's going to get his energy back. This is how he's going to get an offering of his own energy back when he does the work. This may be somebody's friend. Let me tell you something. Spiritually speaking, pray for this masculine because he is hurting. He is lost. He is confused. Um, he is a divine masculine. That is the reason why he faced these demonic attacks from such a young age, which happens all the freaking time. So that those demonic aspects can come in and kind of keep you from growing into everything that the most high wants you to be so this man is still functioning under demonic attack from when he was god only knows how old okay so this is something that he needs to be freed from and this is something that wisdom will help him get through hermit energy after he's done the eternal work okay so i don't know who's affiliated with this masculine but this is a word and this is a message, okay, out to the collective, maybe giving you greater understanding for someone that you know, or greater compassion for someone you know, or even the wisdom that needs to be spoken to someone that you know, okay? A divine masculine that is indeed walking around with a certain amount of pain that is coming from the spirit realm, okay, and from the past. If you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea, girl, please go ahead, like it, share it, subscribe it, okay? Now be afraid to come through the belting, girl, and when you do, you know you wanna hit that bell. So you can be here every single time you in the TT or up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you are still here, girl, go ahead and put a young 16, 19 in the comment section because it was exactly 16 minutes and 19 seconds when I said what I said. Also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, girl, DF Tarot T at Cash App or PayPal. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.